hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video we will talk about uh, the generix generix is another flexible way of uh, the writing functions uh, and we will talk about this this is one of the important concept which i like very much so consider uh, the example so we will talk about the examples first and then we will try to understand this thing what it is consider we are writing this function many times same function but this function is taking variable argument it is taking argument of type uh, here is the number here it is taking the argument of uh, type string and it is a type script so obviously we need to define it uh, uh, several times because that function is different from this function because that function signature is different it is returning number it is accepting number right so obviously it is different and if in future like if you have another type you are returning then you again need to write a different function but typescript is providing us the flexibility to write the code in very elegant way so that's the generix so this is the function so what generix is providing a flexibility okay if your function is behaving different for different types then write it once and then call it with the, that particular type of uh, variable so here it is accepting t and returning t so t is uh, represented by generics here uh, so t can be of number t can be of string t can be of uh, n type any okay so that is the flexibility it is giving us it can be of type any any means uh, we are not restricting it to any number it can be anything right but like if you are putting any means uh, then it should return any also okay so these three functions can be returned with a single definition which is with the generic okay so the flexible typing is done with the help of generic so like and another thing is that we have the enums in typescript like you can define java c sharp javascript and you can get the language name language dot java it will give you the index 01 okay so uh, here the language language is of type enum right so we can see what we are going to get from it so we can use this this split form to understand it more right so here we got the error right language is not about, uh, is not assignable to the language right so language is already defined of type java so if you to console.log language is of type enum language dot java right so it will not give you that value so you cannot reassign that value with something else okay so this enum is providing the the type safety very much for you oh, okay, you can just put a let here instead of war so you can see so if you see the output of enum how it is working so language it's nothing but it's a function and we are assigning the properties in the language language java is having zero language is are with the value is 1 language javascript is having value 2 okay this is how it is working and language of language of java is java okay so this is enum we have similarly we have functions we have a classes we have a interfaces even if you talk about the interface so name is of type string here it is of type number so put the interface name so interface is student and it is having these two types right so you can create uh, now you can create the objects of type student so let me std i'm creating a std of type student and what all it will have it will have a name and id is it will be json object so take care of that you can see so now the student type is of types uh, so this stud is a variable of type student 
so it is um, tightly coupled with this interface so name will be of type string id will be of number and here you can also like uh, if you are not specifying this number then you will get an error right property id is missing of type string so if you wanted to make it uh, optional and make it optional with the question mark here i can zoom this so put a question mark so it means this id is not not required so it will not give an error but if you are removing it then this will say okay id is missing so it's a type safety we are adding to this object okay so alternative to the typescript we have a typescript dot coffee script and in the there is a flow also in the react but i don't know if they are that much flexible and uh, angular already using typescript uh, you can also write the node.js code with the typescript i will talk about that and similarly you can also use uh, the typescript with the babel thanks everyone